Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Hotful Boyfriend. Uh, I was, I've actually been really, really, really sick for the past week, which is kind of a bummer. It's my vacation from work, and I was hoping to get a bunch of videos and like all this stuff done, but I've been sick for most of it. Might still be able to hear it in my voice, but if I don't get at least one video recorded, I'm gonna be very sad. So we continue on with our adventure with Nageki. Um, let's see, last time he was in the library and he was going to tell us something important, I believe, but we got interrupted. It was very strange. But now we're back in our classroom. Ladybird. Sir! You rank top of the, the year this time. Well done. What? what? She beat you by two points, Shirogane. Oh well. Sakuya's glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! Closing time already. I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing! It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard. I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Nageki! A buck under his arm, the same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was just about to go home, but... Snow? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll have to wait until it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way? What are you reading? Dickens. A Christmas Carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a whiteout Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished? Yep. I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It would be nice being able to get, avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. And so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. <coughs> kind of a sweet scene. The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. Um, the weird thing about January 1st is that depending on what path you take, you can either get a really nice day or a really rainy day, and I'm not really sure why. That makes absolutely no sense, but okay. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. It must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. Uh, Beatrice, that sounds kind of creepy. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. <clears throat> Beatrice? Huh? Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Uh, oh! It looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? 
Um, I'd like one for... And once again, it doesn't really matter which one you pick for the Nageki path. It matters for, I think, like, a couple of other birds, which one you pick here. It's not really that big of a deal, so I'm just going to say Fulfillment in School. Here you go. Thanks, Ryota. And are you here all day today? Yep. First day's always busy. Oh well. I was gonna ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Beatrice. Maybe another time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nonaki! Happy New Year! Oh, hello, Ladybird. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Fortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which should I take? This one. I got a cockatiel blessing, and I have no idea what that means. It's random every single time. I have no clue what it means whatsoever. Oh good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Ladybird. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. You're still hibernating! Or, you're still hibernating! Sir, wake up! Oh, um, I said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. <clears throat> okay, we made it to our third term with a creepy pigeon poking somebody over here. That's nice. Ah, uh, February 2nd. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh! Tomorrow's Legumentines! I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like. But apparently, it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there a kind you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards those bean medleys for racers, but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... And this selection actually is pretty important, depending on who you're trying to pick. Um... First time I played it, I got Calm Corn, and Nageki seemed happy with it. Um, I read somewhere that if you give him something weird, he just stares at it and doesn't quite know what to do. I can't remember if that happened with the Calm Corn or not. He'll be happy, but what you really want to give him, give him is a Country Millet. Because he really likes that. There's no way you can really know, you just have to sort of play the game and find out. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Almost empty, as you, as always. And surprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so... Oh, and unsurprisingly, whoops, derp. The winter cold will stick around well through February. Pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be... Ah, there you are, Nageki. Sitting in a frigid corner far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Burr, it's cold in here. Are you okay, Nagiki? I am fine. Don't mind me, Miss Ladybird. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. 
Anyway, I have something to give you. It's legumentines, you know? Here, foxtail millet. For me? Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes, thank you. He looks happier than usual. Or is it just my imagination? I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Thank you, Miss Ladybird. You're welcome, Nagaki. So Nagaki, uh, Nagaki likes the country millet because it's something he ate as a child, so yay. Ah, oh, it's cold. Legumatines is over, and now I want spring to come already. Oh, I'm out of firewood. What should I do? Climbing down to gather re more right now would be dangerous. Well, I can last one night in the cold. Good night. Hey, Beatrice. Are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? You look kind of sick. Your skin's all pale. I'm fine. Maybe it's your imagination? Hmm. Well, okay. You're always healthy after all. That's right. I'm the toughest guy in the town. You're not a guy, Beatrice. Oh, I need to go to the library today. See you, Rihanna. See you. Huh. I thought I didn't get this extra tidbit unless I never ever went to the gym, and I'm pretty sure I went once in this run. So either I'm remembering incorrectly, or I started over at some point and just didn't go to the gym. I'm not really sure, but I'm kind of surprised. This doesn't usually happen, but that's okay. Extra scene for you guys. Last night was unusually cold, but I don't feel sick or anything. Probably just Ryota worrying about everything as usual. Nagaki? What is it? Um, I'm returning books that have wandered away from home to their loving families and... Wandered away from home? Ah, Michelle Books. Right. I'm almost done, but where do you think this one goes? I flipped through it, but I can't tell if it's fiction or psychology or science or what. Oh my god, really? It should have a genre mark. Genre mark? Isn't there a label near the bottom of the back cover? Oh, yes, there is. But it's all numbers. You work here and you don't remember the classifications? How have you been filing up until now? Women's intuition! stares at me with eyes like scornful daggers. Stop it! You'll leave a hole! Give it to me. This is natural science. It starts with four, so it's physics. The second number is a five, so... Are you listening? Yes? Yes! The second number is a five, so, it so this is a book on seismology, so it should go... Whoa! Miss Ladybird? What's wrong, Miss Ladybird? Hey, say something. Somebody, somebody. How can I get someone's attention? <coughs> oh no! We're in the doctor's office. Ugh. I feel lousy. Where am I? I feel like I... The infirmary? Beatrice! You're awake. How do you feel? Are you alright? Do you remember who I am? Can I get you anything? W would you like me to peel you an apple? Wait, Ryota! I can't answer all those at once. Oh, sorry. Why am I here of all places? You wound me. Doctor! You collapsed and Kawada brought you here. Any other questions? Collapsed? I do feel really heavy. I was fine just a minute ago. 
a sudden fever and inflammation of the upper respiratory tract. A cold and nothing more. Though, the violent episode leaves me somewhat puzzled. The violent episode? You don't remember? You kicked down the library door. I remember no such thing. I heard the glass smashing as I was heading home, and when I went to look, I found you collapsed in the doorway. There was no one else there, so I figured it was you who... I made that much of a mess while I was out cold? Do you think you might have some deep-seated desire to indulge in violent acts? Don't make me sound like some kind of psychopath. <coughs> you have to rest, Beatrice. I'll sit with you. Doctor, I think you're making her worse by hanging around like that, so please go back to whatever you were doing. My, I am unpopular. Is that any way to speak to a member of the faculty? But, very well. Hmm, must have been Nagaki who kicked down the door, and of course, as usual, nobody noticed. Everything inside my head feels fuzzy. I'm causing trouble for Ryota. I'm probably going to have to pay for the library door, too. The library? Where'd Nagaki go? Natural sciences start with four, and... Um, I wonder if you put it right uh, back on the right shelf. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, sorting all these takes forever. I think I just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um... Miss Ladybird, be here after the other students have left. Have all left. Fuchishiro Nagaki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's about. Nagaki, are you here? Nagaki? Here. Nagaki! Hello, Miss Ladybird. Ah! Oh, you startled me! How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So what did you need? I want to talk to you, Miss Ladybird. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay, I'm all ears, Nagaki. I'm... Not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Ladybird. Hm? Huh? Let's go outside. What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? My... Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library, and then... Runs forward, crashing into the air. Nagaki, what... He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Ladybird. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... You're quiet. Oh, that's so mean. That's because I can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. 
I've been alone here for years with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. I killed myself in this room. Oh, Nageki. And so here I stay. My clock broke here. Its hands turned meaninglessly. Each day the same as the last. Alone. Forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Ladybird. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you for more, for longer. Nagiki! I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful. But I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I, I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nagaki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school, and now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. No, Kiki! His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. No, Nagiki, don't go! Nagiki, wait! We've... we never talked like this before. I don't want this to be our last time. Don't cry, Miss Ladybird. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No! No, don't say it! Nagaki, I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Ladybird. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you! You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I love you. And there ends our episode with Nagaki. Oh, Nagaki, my first love. You broke my heart. And I will miss you. Now, Nagaki is one of the more sad paths, but I do like it. It's sweet in a way, even though it doesn't end happily. Ah. <sighs> And after we finish the uh, episode and get an ending, we get uh, ending number four, Dream's End, which we can find in our gallery. Uh, please ignore <laughs> the stuff here. Um, yeah, here's our little ending right here. We can go back and... Uh, I've gotten all the endings here, as you can see. Some of them look kind of ominous. Other ones are pretty good. Um, anyway, I will end the episode here. And next time I'm back with Hataful Boyfriend, we are going to start a new episode. And this time, we are going to date Shirogane La Belle Sakuya. Look forward to it, guys. Bye, everybody.